Hi, everybody. This is Brian over at Consign Pro Software, and today I'm going to take you through a new feature that we've added to version 11, which is electronic payments that we make from Consign Pro via either PayPal or Venmo. Um, it's an exciting new feature that we put in at the request of our customers, wanted to pay people electronically rather than using paper checks. The way that you get this turned on in Consign Pro is as follows. You're going to first download version 11 of Consign Pro. You're going to go over to maintain store, customize CP, store settings at the top, and the payments tab at the top. In version 11, you'll see on the right hand side a bunch of options for paying electronically from Consign Pro. The first is a checkbox to turn this feature on. My feature is already turned on in this demo. The next box down we have is an owner's cell phone number. That's where you'll put your cell phone number. And that is used by the system to send you a text message anytime you make an electronic payment from the Consign Pro program, it alerts your cell phone and you have to release that payment before the consigner is paid. Next on the screen is the ability to charge your consigners back for the payments that you make electronically. Right now, the cost of making an electronic payment from Consign Pro is $1 per payment. And we can collect that back from the consigners as a convenience fee. In the demo that we do today, we're gonna to actually charge the consigner a dollar and you'll see how that appears on their account. The next box down is a pin number. That is security that we built into this uh, so that only people who know that pin number can initiate electronic payments from Consign Pro. It's a built-in safeguard. And we've got a number of them along the way to make this a very secure process. Once these fields are completed on the screen, um, well, I should mention we've got two buttons up here at the top set up accounts for PayPal and set up accounts for Venmo. The set up accounts for PayPal button will change all of your consigner accounts to be paid by PayPal. The set up accounts for Venmo will do the same, setting up all your accounts to pay by Venmo. The reason this button is grayed out right now is because our cell phone numbers have not been validated in the system. And if you wanted to set that up, you just send an email note to me and I'll tell you how to do that, okay? I'm going to click on update because the right-hand side of the screen is set the way that I want. I'm gonna go back to the menu and we're gonna initiate an electronic payment to PayPal from the consigner screen. Go to find consigner, look up account number one, that happens to be me. I've got a $10 balance on my account. You'll notice something new on the right-hand side of the screen. We've got a new pay by box. The pay by box in your system probably says check. Okay, unless you change it to PayPal or Venmo, all of your accounts will say check. Okay, if you want to change it to PayPal, you can do that. It's going to prompt you for your PIN number. Again, every step of the way, when we're changing things to be electronic, it's going to ask for that PIN number. So only give that PIN number to people that you trust in your store to make electronic payments. It's again prompting you, hey, are you sure that this is the right email address that's connected to PayPal on this screen? Double check. Okay. I see my email address is brian at consignpro.com. I know that's my email address and that's where I want to receive my payment. Okay. On this screen, you then click that familiar payout balance button. You'd see the screen you've seen every time before. I'm going to pay $5 to this consigner. And on the screen, you'll notice a new PayPal payout option. Okay. If I had set this account to set up pay by Venmo, that pay, pay, PayPal payout would say Venmo payout. Okay, I'm going to click on PayPal payout. And again, we're notified that there is something going on here that we want to make sure is right. Uh, make this PayPal payment to Brian at consignpro.com. Is that the right email address? And I looked at it a second time. The answer is yes. I need my PIN number. Okay. Can't make electronic payments without it. The system is set up to charge a $1 convenience fee. The actual payment amount sent to this consigner will be $4, okay? That's letting the person know that it's not gonna be $5, it's gonna be $4, okay? Another warning screen, electronic payments cannot be undone and are final. Same as putting a check in the bank and cashing it. Please double check the payment amount before continuing. My payment amount says five, I know that's gonna be four. I'm gonna hit the process payout button because I'm, I'm happy with that number. It's going to take about three to four seconds and it's going to pop up a message saying that the payment was initiated via PayPal and it may take a few minutes to reach the consigner's account. I can now go into that consigner's account activity 
And I see down here at the bottom, PayPal payout, $4. Convenience fee, $1, okay? And I see a pay ID over here on the right that's a payment ID from PayPal. This is payment ID 11, okay? I'm gonna show you how that looks in just a second. If I double click on it, it says the payment status from PayPal is not currently available, okay? The payment hasn't been made yet. It's been initiated. I'm gonna now show you where that gets made. I gotta share a different screen. I'm gonna bring up my PowerPoint screen here. And this is what it's gonna look like on your cell phone, okay? Someone at Trendy Tots just initiated a PayPal payment for $4 to Brian Wilson. Click the following link to authorize this payment. The next message says, be sure to have at least $4.25 in your PayPal business account or it will fail. Okay, so the 25 cent difference is the amount of money that's being collected by PayPal and your account balance in your business PayPal account must be 425 before you click this link. Once you click the link on the left, you'll see the screen on the right. Confirm PayPal payout, $4 USD, US dollars to Brian at Consign Pro. If you're again happy with that amount, you click the confirm button and it will release that amount, okay? I'm gonna to go to back to my other screen here. On my cell phone, I'm going to pick, pick it up. You can't see me do this. I'm gonna release that amount. Give me just one second here. And it's released that amount. It says on my phone, payout has been processed, okay? I'm gonna go into this consigner's account activity. I'm gonna double click on this pay ID 11, not available. We're gonna give it a minute. In that minute, we're gonna go into the main menu, maintain store, print checks, okay? We demonstrated so far, we can make electronic payments to consigners individually. You can also make them through this check printing facility, okay? This check run may include electronic payments to consigners via PayPal or Venmo. Be certain all our amounts are correct before running checks as electronic payments cannot be done and are final. Okay, so another message, this screen will break up the amount of electronic payments and check payments you have in the title at the top of the screen. I have one consigner in my system. I've got $5 on the account minus the convenience fee, the total e-payment it's showing me is going to be $4, okay? If I were to make this payment, it would send the same message to my cell phone. I would have to release the payment for this batch before, before those payments are made via PayPal. Now, here's the good news. If you've got, you know, 100 electronic payments, you're only going to get one message to your phone. And that message is going to say something like, Consign Pro's check printing facility is trying to pay 22 people electronically in the total amount of X. Do you want to release these payments? You click once, you click again on the confirmation screen where it shows you all of the details and it makes those. So it's not 100 clicks, it's one click for batch payouts, okay? I'm going to go back to the main menu. I'm going to look up consigner number one. I'm going to go into account activity. We're going to double click on this pay ID 11. PayPal is now telling us that it actually has transferred the money to the consigner's account. And it's giving us the date and the time for that mess with a message that says success, okay? So you'll always have a record of whether that payment went through or not. If the payment did not go through, pay ID 11 would be replaced with the reason it rejected. And there's a number of reasons that a payment can reject. If the payment rejects, consigner will automatically put the $5 back on the consigner's account automatically, okay? And then it's a matter of understanding why it rejected. Maybe the email address was wrong. Maybe the Venmo phone number was wrong. Uh, maybe there wasn't enough money in your PayPal account to make that payment. Could be a number of reasons, okay? Uh, once you get those corrected, you can make the payment again. Okay, so it will refund rejected amounts back to the consigner's account. That's pretty cool. Um, what else can I tell you about this? PayPal and Venmo, a lot of people don't know this, PayPal and Venmo are the same company, okay? So you're gonna set this, once, set this up once through PayPal, and then PayPal will distribute the money for you to either somebody's PayPal account 
or to someone's Venmo account, depending on where you direct it in Consign Pro. Okay. Let me show you how that gets set up. Under menu, version 11, up at the top, suppliers, e payouts via PayPal. We've got a button here, sign up for Consign Pro e payments. I'm going to click it. If you want to turn this on, this step is necessary. It's one of the very first steps, as a matter of fact. It's going to link me out to the internet, and I'm sharing the wrong screen right now. So I'm going to share the right screen with you. Okay, the screen is going to look something like this Consign Pro e payments authorization agreement with your store name. What you do is you take a look, read our agreement here. If you agree with it, you'll click the big button at the bottom that says log in with PayPal. That will connect your PayPal a business account to Consign Pro when you complete that login. Okay? After you complete the login, send an email to us, sales at consignpro.com. The message you're gonna send is, hey, I just connected Consign Pro to my PayPal account, what's next? We will send you complete instructions on how to turn this feature on in Consign Pro, and more importantly, how to use the feature, which is pretty much what we've just gone over today. Let me share my correct screen again. We'll go back to Consign Pro. I'll close, oh, by the way, if you wanted to learn more about this, more than you learned in this demo maybe, is you can click on learn more about Consign Pro ePayments. We've got an entire web page dedicated and this where we dedicate um, information on how to use this feature and what the feature is, how much it costs, how to get it, how to turn it on. It's all on our webpage. So learn more about, we'll bring you to that webpage. Okay. So that in a nutshell is e-payments from Consign Pro, an exciting new feature in version 11. A lot of customers have asked for it, so we put it in. It works great. We've got about half a dozen stores using it as of, the, as of this video date. Uh, hopefully more will adopt it. It's a really neat way to pay your consigners and it's all built into your copy of Consign Pro, whether you pay those consigners individually or whether you pay them through our batch check printing facility, Consign Pro can handle those payments either way. That's about it for today. If you have any questions, you can email me, brian at consignpro.com. I'm happy to answer your questions. Thanks. Have a great day.